Hey everybody, it's Gabriel. This is the new Lexus RX 500H. I own this vehicle and I like to give perspectives on cars that I've had. I think you're gonna love this one because it's the new F Sport. It has the rear steering. It's very, very peppy compared to a regular uh, RX. And we've never had an RX before. We've had a lot of LXs. As a matter of fact, we had a 2010, a 2011, a 2012, a 2014, a 2016, a 2018, a 2021, and 600. Why did we switch to the RX this time? Well, because of the nimbleness, it's quick, the whole family likes to drive it, and I think you're gonna love it, the rear steering, and it's easy to park. So let's talk about this one. Hey guys, let me wear these glasses a minute. I have blue eyes and I'm squinting here trying to cut this video, so I'll take them off in a minute. All right, let's start on the side first. I like the muted out kind of uh, charcoal gray wheels. Again, this is the F Sport performance. I liked, I always liked the RX, but I didn't like the way that it was, it was very predictable, which is not a bad thing. Lexus makes the best stuff, but it didn't have an edge to it, right? And this one is really quick in traffic. The hybrid system kicks in like that, and the rear steering, it's nuts. I mean, you can turn that thing anywhere in a parking lot, and it makes it so easy to use on a daily basis. I really have fallen in love with this car. All right, I like also, this is a very, very, almost a polar white. It has metal flake in it, but it's extremely white and in contrast of the dark, I like that because you get to see the dimensions of the car. Um, has the black accents around here, the black accents here. Of course, same thing here, come around the back. If you look here, light's gonna change a little bit. Look how well they've done that. It just has a, I love the unified, I love the unified light. It's one bar that goes across the back, which adds that, because all the Lexus products are doing that now, so that's really cool. Now these, okay, they don't work. They're not real. Hey, it's for appearance, right? These don't have any, they don't have any function. I wish they did, but that's that. Uh, come around this side, same thing, you've seen the car. Now let's look at the very, very front of it really fast. Now the front of the car, some people love it, some people hate it. Hey, get that shot. I honestly, if it's a silver one or if it's a black one, this thing looks like it kind of fades down. It's more gradient. With the white, of course, you're going to see that contrast. But I really love it. I think it's a great new bold look for the RX. And we have not had any issues with it. Of course, the Lexus reliability. Now let's look at some of the features of the RX. Here's the inside. Now, the, the fun thing about the new RX is it has touchpad sensitive door handles, right? So if you touch it, it just takes no effort and you're in. I do like the bigness of the entry point when you get in. I'll take my phone out. When you get in, it just feels right. It has a lot of space. Um, the bucket seats, come a little closer. The bucket seats, I don't know if you can see the zoom in here real quick. They really, right here, they, they grab you incredibly I mean, it doesn't squeeze you, but it holds you tight. You know, I've had the G-Wagons and some of the Mercedes that have the active seats and they grab your body and they hold your body and they turn, based upon the steering turning, uh, the seat actually moves. This doesn't have that kind of tech, but it's very, it holds you, but it's not uncomfortable. Sometimes bucket seats are just kind of not comfortable. Now, I know that you can get the more luxury version of this one and it has the, the base of the seat that'll extend out a little bit and the leather's a little bit softer. This is half suede and half leather, but I really like the way it feels. I also like the dead pedal spot. Where your foot fits and where these pedals are is so natural. They spent a lot of time uh, just putting the ergonomics of the car because again, the big thing for me, I don't know if you guys are like this. I, get in a, I don't care how much a car costs. When you get in a vehicle, it fits you right or it doesn't fit you right. There's something about, again, to use that word, ergonomics. I feel like the car needs to be a natural extension of how you're driving and how you're feeling. And if you feel disconnected or like you're sitting on a couch and you're trying to you know, reach, reach across the living room, that is a weird feeling. So I like the, com and I love also the new dash. Come up here, let's turn it on a second and I'll show you. When you do this, I'm gonna make sure I'm not yelling now that I'm next to the camera. Your graphic is nice. It's nice and quiet. The engine's kicked in, right? It's telling me the back, the, the hatch is open. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, some of the things that the car does, here, come, come right over here a minute. Some of the things that the car does when you're driving it, and this is a, I, I know you can set it, 
but I keep it there just for a safety. When you're driving the car, all right, and let's say you look to the left or you look to the right, if you do it too long, you'll get alerted and it'll say, keep your eyes on the road. If your hands aren't on, so it's got all of those safety features, which is good, you know, because some people just drive distracted. I, I like it. Um, it doesn't bother me because now I'm just kind of used to it. So that's not a bad thing. The, the steering wheel also, we have the paddle shifts right here. Love that. Where your hands fit. You don't have a gigantic steering wheel like this. It fits right. I know I'm kind of nerding out on these little things, but this matters. You have your odometer settings. You have your vents. Your vents move very, very easily, right? Your vents move just real simple. These are the things that just, you're, again, I'm a big day in, day out person. I don't care how cool a car is. If after a while it starts to agitate you because the little things just aren't designed well, those are the things that will cause me to buy another car and get rid of that one. I know it's crazy, right? First world problems. Gas cap, your hatch, your seat settings, of course, typical Lexus here, start button here. I like the fact that you have knobs. Eden, can you see this? Look at the knobs, guys. I love the knobs as well. And there's feedback. There's haptic feedback. You're actually feeling it click. Of course, you have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all the stuff. You have the Lexus apps. I'm not going to go into the nav system or all the buttons. You guys can find other videos on that. That takes too long and it drives me crazy having somebody click through screens. But trust me, it does everything. Another thing I like about the car, heated steering wheel. Very fast heating steering wheel. Very fast heated seats. Ventilated seats. Love this. All of your controls to your seats are right here. I mean, I'm sorry, to your vents are right here, which makes it real fast. I like the soft sounds of the touches. Um, uh, when, you, when you're touching the buttons, you just hear gentle sounds. The, the up, the heads up display, I, I don't think you'll be able to see on the camera. It's very advanced. Right now, it's telling me, it's basically showing me my entire steering wheel and, show, and it's haptic feedback. So as I touch these things, it goes from mode, you know, distance. Uh, your, your cruise distance or your you know your your emergency like brake assist assistance everything is there and I love the fact that if you need to touch it you just get used to touching it with your thumbs it makes it real easy but we're not going to go into too much detail let me show you another feature I love that Lexus has done now sun's going down that Lexus has done that you don't see in other cars almost ever ready for this it's so quiet it's turning on and turning off so we'll just leave it running now, I do have the Mark Levinson surround, uh, the, the sound system. I'm big into the Mark Levinson. I think Lexus, that Levinson sound, uh, the 4D system with the Mercedes S-Class that I had, where your, 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 the seats are part of the stereo system, absolutely one of the best. And the Mark Levinson that's in the LX and in this and the LS, off the chart, love them. But look here. This is a safety feature. It, I told you it's touch sensitive. So when you're opening the door, you do this. But if you need to get out, it has a backup. All of the handles have a backup. Somebody says, oh man, those are electronic handles. What if it goes bad? They thought of that, okay? Also, this right here is very, very big. I am thrilled that the seat goes up and the seat goes back. The reclining function of the back seats is a big one. Here's another thing I love about the back seats. The comfort, your legs fit right, plenty of headroom, and, ready for this? Drum roll please. Heated rear seats, uh-oh, three different levels of heat, but that's not all. Ventilated rear seats, three levels of ventilation in the back. There are very expensive cars that still haven't figured out how to have front and rear heated and ventilated seats. And of course, to have the reclining feature is a big one. I love that on here. And you don't feel like you're in a hole. It's, it's set up a bit like a stadium seating, so you're above. And it's bright, you have the sky roof, love that. Look here, your center console, I mean the uh, armrest area, for whatever you're gonna put in there. And the cup holders actually hold. Oh, speaking of cup holders, I gotta show you one of my favorite features in the front. I love cars. I just do. I don't know why. Ever since I was a kid, I, I used to be criticized because I would just 
it was when I was a kid I wanted to design cars actually and that's all I would ever draw that's all I would ever talk about and uh, lo and behold here I am doing videos about our vehicles and other vehicles it's funny how that works okay this cup holder okay there's a I'm gonna hide the brand here right this cup holder is natural as you would have it has those little those little divots that hold your drink you guys know this you buy drinks or you bring them from home you put them in these crazy cup holders in half of these cars and they want to flop around or come in and then come out they're not or they're too shallow and the cups are sitting up here this feature is also amazing watch this oh come on so, I mean this is so good I just want to do it like 20 times nice so depending on the height of your drink you can actually have it go down into this and that is a brilliant feature to me I love that okay in here of course typical but I love the fact that Lexus does the two-sided armrest that is a big deal this hides well you have another storage area here USB C's of course here all right now watch this so let's say I'm gonna go somewhere right put my seatbelt on here's your shifter pull it down for drive right pull it back for reverse or you pull it sideways for neutral like if you're going into a, a car wash or whatever okay here's your brake hold here's your parking brake but it's already set to automatic so whenever I get the car get in the car and I'm stopping and I push the parking brake on it'll automatically turn that on and you'll hear it which is always nice here's all of your modes for off-road and you guys can go through a sport eco you can customize all of it of course your phone fits in a pad down there I think that's smart if you guys are like me and I hope you think the same way this is this is the I can't stand watching people drive holding their phones I just can't in my opinion the phone needs to go in the car and be hidden somewhere charging and then it syncs up so that the whole car your your phone mechanism is all either voice activated or very simple touches I like that they've made it so that the car has to be out of the way to charge of course you can charge it through one of these but eventually guys I'm telling you you're not gonna be able to use your phone in a car and you shouldn't be able to it's gonna all just sync with the vehicle and then it's done that way because the amount of people that have lost their lives and the amount of unnecessary damage to vehicles and people who have had wrecks because they hold their phones. Anyway, sorry for the tangent there, but I mean that. Um, so that's perfect. More storage down there. My napkins, right? And, okay, ambient lighting. Um, we're kind of spoiled to Mercedes-Benz ambient lighting. If you guys... I have a reel, I'm not a reel, what's it called? A short, sorry, a short. I did a short of uh, a, just a quick clip of the ambient lighting on our EQS. You unlock the doors, the, the, the handles pop out, the lights go, the whole car glows, the inside of the car glows. There's lights all the way around it. It's haptic feedback, it's touch sensitive, it's color sensitive, it's super bright, and I love that. Now, Lexus kind of does the opposite. They have very subtle ambient lighting that is only supposed to just gently enhance the environment. So you're not gonna see it any real obvious ambient lighting, but right now the footwell is red, the hand, the, the doors is red here. There's some uh, red or it might be pink. I think my wife set it to pink, but the pink is set in here. And if you guys can look, the suede and the suede on the seats, really, I like it. Um, solid black interiors. Um, some of them I like and some of them I don't. I really like this one. And when you're in it, the car, Lexus does an amazing job of not having glare. You know, you're not getting glare off the windshield or glare off of interior components. And so when you're in the car, it's very, it's dark on the inside, but you're seeing clearly and you're not getting any glare. Here's another big one. Ta-da! The rear camera. I love the rear camera feature because you guys know this. I talk about cameras all the time. I love the rear camera. Let's talk about cameras. If you hit this and I put it in drive here, right? So you're showing your basic one, right? You put it in reverse, right? It's showing you your, we're all used to that, okay? Put it back in drive. Now, if you'll notice, Aiden, can you see the rear steering of the wheels? Are you able to see them? Are they moving? Yes. They are? Mm hmm. Well, Let me do a little loop right here and show you how tight this is, okay? Yeah, do it. It's crazy. 
Can you see the wheels? See how it's just, just slightly turning. Just enough. It's like a, a degree or half a degree of turn. And it stayed in its line. It didn't go farther out that time. Now the EQS that we have has 10 degree rear steering. Um, I had a LS, uh, a, a L, what LC, was it? LC, LC 500, um, that amazing coupe that Lexus makes. And I had the, the tail that came out of the back uh, that would deploy in the rear steering. And it was only a few, a couple degrees of steering. This is very excellent. I don't know how many degrees. I think it's two and a half. Yeah, probably two. About two and a half. But the Mercedes we have is 10. And you talk about, but it's also a much longer car and it needs it. Yeah, video coming soon, by the way. Yes, the video is coming soon. You're going to like that car. And you're going to be surprised when I tell you what I traded to get the EQS. That's going to create a lot of comments, <laughs> I'm sure. All right, let's look at the back and the front, OK? the front the lights sorry the camera died yeah, switching my <laughs> iPhone. okay it's got that triple beam that I think Lexus does a good a really good job with um, I like the halo effect of the LEDs for your daytime lights these things work very very well and one thing Lexus does okay when you steer there is illumination on both sides that makes all the difference in the world, guys. When you're driving at night, you see the sidewalk or you'll see people. And again, the video that I'm going to be doing on the EQS, it, it really shines on both sides when you steer. But Lexus did an amazing job with that. All right, let me show you inside the hood. Sorry, it's a little windy. It probably sounds a little crazy. My nose is starting to run. It's getting cold. <laughs> It's like a sewing machine, guys. Hybrid. And did you know that this engine puts out, what is it, 360? Five? 63? 61 or 67? We'll, we'll do a little splash here. We'll show you torque and horsepower here in a second. But I love that. Everything's easy, it's easily accessible. And I also like the double anchors and the middle anchor. So it holds the steering, uh, the, the hood down in three different points. You don't see that. You see a lot of cars with just that, and I think that's it's not enough. Now let's look at the back. I think the rear design of the RX is really well done, and I love how the light goes across now. The windshield wiper is hidden underneath. A lot of vehicles still have them sitting here on the glass. I love that they were able to hide that, and of course, the space in this thing is pretty fantastic. Here's the net. Here's your cargo protection. If you look here, you can flip the seats down, right? On this side, you've got a plug for, we were, we were charging the batteries for the camera that died. You have, I'll show you this, an actual spare tire. Go figure. That's unusual. And when these go down, with this camera, thing down <laughs> I forgot. look at all the space of course this bar comes out it spring loads you can pull this whole rack out and it doesn't go flat because you have the battery underneath the seat but this is plenty good for most people uh, I like that a lot and let's put these back up again let me show you this there we go and they automatically go up. You're not having to sit there and hold them. Now, again, I told you they were reclining. I like this feature too. This is nice. Look, the kind of the pass through. So if you have a pet or you need to put something through here or whatever, this at least goes down as well as is the armrest with the storage and the cup holder. I just like that feature. I like the side windows here so it gives you more visibility. Even on the front, you can see up there at the front of the car, you see how they've cut out the triangle windows. It gives you more visibility when you're driving. And the sky roof, let's flip the sky roof open. And look at this sky roof. It's 
fast, opens up. It's actually quiet too when you're driving. It's very quiet. And of course it has the pop-up feature as well. And you can also close this. My wife doesn't like the, the sky roof or really a sunroof. I like it because it just makes me feel less encapsulated. But if you like just to drive it like this, and also, you know how a lot of cars um, with a sky roof, you'll get a lot of that radiant heat will come through and the cabin gets super hot. They've done a great job with this because even on a sunny, on a hot day, it just doesn't come through um, because of the shade. And it does, even with the thing open and it's just the glass, it does a great job. Some of them, you just feel the sun burning down on you. This one, they've, they've refracted that light somehow uh, to keep it out. So I love that. It's getting dark, so you'll be able to see. Okay, speakers on both sides. So when you're using your audio, uh, your phone, um, and you're speaking to people in the car, it picks up everything. You don't have to yell. That's also a big plus. Now, what I'd like to do is drive it real quick before it gets dark, and you guys can watch that. All right, now you may be able to see a little bit of the ambient lighting starting to kick in somewhat. Of course, we have the camera for the back. Go ahead and drive. We're gonna do a little driving and you won't be able to see the heads up display, but everything is shined up really nice there. When you're driving the car, you feel that back end pitch. I mean, it is, it's really crazy how tight this thing turns. And that is, is such a plus for, new, for maneuverability. I mean, go to the mall, go, I mean, you could be in a, in, a, in a big city and have one of these cars. I mean, they've just done a remarkable job with it. And, you, and it doesn't feel nauseating. Sometimes rear, rear steering will almost make you feel like you're on a roller coaster ride. I don't like that. But let's do a little acceleration here at the bottom of the hill. All right, now let's just do a quick little acceleration. Nothing crazy. Comment below. What do you guys think? RX500H. I think especially the new design that it's absolutely the rx to get this one has every feature you can get actually i i take that back it's missing one thing which was a little sticker on the back that would have cost about 150 bucks it doesn't have the sticker on the back but it has every other feature including the upgraded upgraded stereo the seats all the features and that's the one to get watch this you pull out and just i mean it's very quick we're 42 miles an hour just that so getting in and out, you know, this is not a drag test or a zero to 60 test. It's just, even on the highway, if you're going 60, 70 miles an hour and you need to pass, the hybrid kicks in and it just adds everything you need uh, to make it really just super effective. You know, I, I, I'm just not, I can't find anything about the car that I don't like. Usually I'll say, I don't like this or I don't like that. Honestly, I'm, I'm still trying to find something I don't like. It syncs with your phone beautifully. Oh yeah, hold on, I just looked, I looked away and I'm talking to you guys, so the car just gave me that little beep and it told me, hey, look back at the road. It'll tell you if you need to make a, take a coffee break because you're getting sleepy. If you close your eye, I mean, all of the little fun things that it does, it's there. Hey, and I wanted to have Aiden get up in the front seat because I want you to see something. Um, I, well, you can't tell, but when you hit the brakes hard in the car, it doesn't do a jerk. It, they've figured out something with the brakes that even if you're hitting it with a, a pretty strong foot um, and you're having to stop quickly, it slows down and it keeps it from having that, that jerk thing that people do when they're driving. They figured that out beautifully and that is just a big thing that I noticed even in normal driving. The pedal is very, very soft and it's braking. Look at this turning, oh my gosh. I love the turning in this car. It's one of those cars you just makes it so fun. Also. Um, at nighttime, when you're driving it, it has all of the alert, the alerts on it. So if cars are coming around you or coming in front of you, um, the other day we were in traffic and we were sitting here like this, right? And I'm, and I'm sitting here and the cars are coming back and forth in cross traffic. And in front of me, there's these orange arrows that pop up and it tells you that there's cars coming in front of you or beside you. So safety features, safety features, safety features. Even if you were going to get this car for one of your kids, it's a great choice. I'm of the persuasion that, that kids need to drive tanks uh, with tremendous amounts of safety, but the, the cabin and the, the, the structure of this car, I've watched all the crash, crash testings and, and they've just done a brilliant job with it. So 
Ah, there it is. You can't see it on the camera, sorry. But there's these arrows going by and it's telling me that all these cars are coming ahead of time. So even if you're driving up and you're just not paying attention, it's already anticipating cars that are coming way in advance. So you're able to see it. It does it for the back, it does it for the front. Again, your cameras, now that it's getting dark. Let's look at the cameras. Can you see the screen? Mm -hmm. All right, let's accelerate a little bit. Yeah, just buttery smooth, hybrid kicks in. And the reason I like the hybrid is because the car charges the battery itself through normal driving and recuperation and all of that. You're not having to plug it in. Now, I told you guys earlier, I have an EQS. It's a full plug-in, but that's another video, and I'll tell you why I also like it that way. I either like it 100% electric or I like it hybrid. I don't like it engine and a plug-in hybrid. That's just too many, too many steps for me. We also have a big diesel truck, and uh, so I like I like all of the power options that are out there today. I know everybody gets in their camps and they, you know, we, we would never have a car like this or I would never have a car like that. And, you know, everybody has an opinion about something. I mean, you're going to see the comments even on this video. People are going to say stuff. Oh, why'd you say that? Why'd you miss that? People like to correct you, tell you what you should have talked about. And I welcome all of that. But at the end of the day, this car feels fantastic. It fits great. The comfort's great. It's quiet. The stereo is incredible. The heating system is amazing. The air conditioning is amazing. The how many miles it gets to the tank. Uh, I need to put a number up above because I don't remember. I need to look at that again. But we rarely put gas in this car, guys. Rarely. And that's why I love this hybrid system so much. It takes so much of that and stretches out. Um, it, actually, this would be a great car to travel in because you get so many miles to the tank. So I uh, just want to talk about a few more of those things before uh, I stopped. So anyway, I hope the Lexus 500H is on your short list. It was ours, and as soon as we drove it, we fell in love with it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.